What's going on, everybody? Before we get into today's video, I just want to let everybody know there is a new shirt live on the website. Go into the link down below in the description under merch. You'll see F That Itch is now currently live on the website. Unfortunately, we were not able to set up the charity event and get it rid of Terabithia. But all the same, pick up a shirt. Help support the channel. Make sure to use code FAIL at checkout to save a couple bucks. Also, you can check out some of the other stuff that we have here. We've got some boxers. Look at this awesome hoodie. This amazing hoodie. I have one myself. Super warm, especially coming into the holiday season. Make sure you pick one up. All right, let's get into today's content. All right, guys, while we're talking in today's video, I'm going to have some game footage playing in the background. So you honestly can just listen to me if you want to listen to me or do what you're doing. Not anything fancy I'm going to be showing on display. So let's just get right into it. So I had an awesome question pulled up the other day in one of my YouTube videos of asking what encoder they should be using for their stream or YouTube video or when they're doing the recording, whether it's Twitch, Facebook. And that's a really good question. A lot of people don't know what the difference is between software or hardware. Um, and I'm going to try to break that down the best I can for you guys. Um, I'm going to go in with some of the, what I think is the more important information to know and kind of give you, like I said, a quick little smidge of information to kind of get you guys going. Now, right off the bat, software or X264, that is your CPU. That means your CPU is doing the encoding. So if you have a four core or Pentium duo, you know, don't do that. <laughs> That's a bad idea. You have very limited cores. Uh, also remember too, when you're playing a game, your game may only run off of one core, but your computer still has to run other things in the background. So you're probably not gonna wanna go with software. Now, when it comes to hardware, now in my case, I have old NVIC and new NVIC. Now, the difference between that, old NVIC, if you have a GTX NVIDIA card of 1650 or older, you most likely have the old NVIC. If you have a 1660 or newer, whether it's a 20 series or 30 series card, you're gonna have the new NVIC. Now, what that means is that the GPU actually has a separate chip inside of it just for encoding to be able to handle like whether it's streams or recording, um, that's what that chip is meant for. Now, where the two may differ, and this is probably the best information, uh, when it comes to CPU encoding, the quality used to be king a couple years back. And then when these new encoding chips came out for AMD and for NVIDIA, basically they stepped up the game big time which is why you saw a big increase in gpu prices because recording digital content creation all that became a bigger push so now these companies decided to put up way better chips in their uh gpus which now of course drove up the cost now cpu encoding can have a huge upper hand over an actual gpu encoder uh, cpu encoding is really good if you have multiple sources whether you have let's say a face cam and a hand cam, and then you have a motion graphics movement on your overlay, and then you have your game footage, you know, game playing in the background. I mean, that's a lot going on. And sometimes depending on what CPU you have, you know, if you have a 9900K like I do, or if you have a, was it the 5900X or maybe something even crazier, like it's like a 16 core or 32 thread CPU, uh, CPU encoding might be a better way to go depending on what you're doing. Now, for me, preferably, I use NVIC New. Now, GPU uh, encoding doesn't mean that they can't handle overlays and stuff like that, but depending on the complexity of it, you might notice maybe some frame rate loss. Um, you might notice maybe some stuttering or some drop frames uh, to your upload. Um, it doesn't mean that it can't handle it. It just may not be able to handle it as well as your CPU. Now, as far as quality between the two, um, I noticed that on the GPU doing the encoding, I notice a lot greater quality uh, versus CPU. Now, again, this kind of goes back and forth. So basically where I'm trying to get to is depending on your setup, depending on your build or your computer, you may need to you know, play around with it and decide, okay, which one is one gonna look better? Which one is giving me better performance? Also, which one's gonna put less strain on my components? So if you have like a six core processor that only has like, you know, 12 threads and you're doing hardware and then you'd say you have a 2080 Super in your computer, well, your 2080 Super is probably going to have a better encoder than your than what your CPU can handle. But on the flip side, if you have a 16 core 32 thread AMD processor right now, uh, you might have a better time doing hard or I'm sorry, software encoding, or I should say CPU encoding, and then where your GPU, let's say, maybe doesn't have to be a top of the line GPU. So it, it kind of goes back and forth in what you're trying to do. Now, there are people out there that have been playing with using 720p at 120 FPS. Um, now, I've noticed that in those type of streams, uh, you have to be on Google Chrome, 
and obviously be able to have a monitor to be able to watch that type of stream. Um, you'll notice that GPU encoding is usually, we got the upper hand on that because it's already having all the game information, all that is already in the GPU, so the encoder just grabs it where it needs to. Um, so anyway, I hope that kind of gave you guys a little bit of insight on what the encoder is and what they do. Again, software, even though this kind of screws a lot of people up, software is also your, is your CPU, it's actually your hardware. Um, so the better the CPU is, um, you may be better off doing CPU or software X264 encoding. If you, especially again, if you have multiple overlays, multiple cameras, high-end overlays, you just have a lot going on, depending on the CPU might be better off. Where if you have hardware, or I should say GPU encoding, whether it's NVIC or if it's AMD, um, remember if you have NVIC new, use NVIC new. That means you have a newer card than a 1660. Um, but if you have NVIC old, which means you have a 1650 or older, make sure you use the old NVIC. Do not use the new NVIC setting on an old GPU and vice versa. You just, it won't work right. You'll have issues and stuttering and stuff like that. Now, using GPU encoding like I do, I have no issues with it. I have, uh, I use a DSLR for my face cam. I have slight motion graphics uh, on my overlays, nothing crazy. Um, I play games and stream at 60 FPS. I stream at two, um, sorry, I stream at 2K resolution. I was gonna say 4K for a second. Um, I don't have any issues with it, but again, your mileage may vary depending on your setup. So again, just make sure you go through and check all those settings. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to try to do more short little kind of video clips on this. When people have questions in the comments, try to do short uploads to give you guys that information. Um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell. So you guys know when I go live, um, I try to stream here and there, but not as much as I used to. I'm going to start focusing more on my video creation. But if you do guys have questions on live, feel free to hit me up. If not, put your uh, questions down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.